Well, it was five hours ago when I was standing right here and this tree, or both these trees right here, were full of bats making lots of noise. They have subsequently taken off, I'm not sure where, much more quiet. We've gotten uh, about five hours worth of sleep. We are going to hit the road. Beth and I have been taking naps in the back of the truck and that's been helpful so we'll be doing that again today and it's pretty overcast we were watching the weather initially when we left Portland it looked like it would be uh, nice and sunny in Asheville North Carolina there's actually weather coming in right now and we might be getting the um, well I don't know the the peripheral weather effects of um, Joaquin which is moving in uh, from the Bahamas right now so we're watching that very closely and thank you to uh, one of our good friends and followers on YouTube and also uh, Amp3 customer Jeff you know who you are buddy but uh, thanks for giving us that warning and just want you to know we're being careful and we will be safe so four hour nap was like a godsend thank you Jesus I needed that we're lucky Big Red's got the space back there. Oh yeah, very comfortable. Pillows, blankets, night vision goggles, we're ready to go. It's a long haul, but you get to see some beautiful country. Like right now we're in Arkansas, and so it's kind of funny. I fell asleep in Oklahoma and I woke up in Arkansas. Beth and I were just commenting that we, um, we appreciate all the uh, support and all the folks that have been following along on our travels out to North Carolina. And um, we really appreciate all the good wishes. I wanted to share some of those because I thought they were kind of uh, fun and interesting. But the first one that really kind of caught our attention, in advance, let me say, welcome to North Carolina. I do hope your stay is wonderful, Asheville is beautiful, and a nice representation of what we have to offer here. And I, I have to say, I really like it when folks are proud of their part of the country. It's a beautiful country we have, and I really like it when, when there's that local or regional pride. Hope our state of Nevada treated you well as you pass through. Have a safe drive. This one was from a good friend of ours um, who follows me on YouTube. He's also a ham radio operator. CERT. Um, and kind of a preparedness guy, he's an Amp3 customer, and he stopped by and visited us a few times at different shows, but he said, by the way, wanted to mention, keep your eyes on the deluge storms that is reported heading to the East Coast from the Atlantic. Well, Beth and I checked the weather when we got to Oklahoma City last night, I shouldn't say last night, early this morning, we arrived at uh, two o'clock in the morning, that was a bit of a long haul, and uh, we weren't able to go to sleep until right around 3, 3.15, but we were watching the Weather Channel, and sure enough, there's a big storm front up in the northeastern part of the United States, and flowing in from the um, Atlantic is a storm cell called Joaquin that this morning was officially classified as a hurricane, and we looked at the different models and tracks, and there's a high likelihood that uh, some of the periphery of that storm may affect the North Carolina area, so um, thank you for that. Another one, it's almost, I would say, every single um, entry here, there's somebody saying uh, they're praying for us or sending prayers of protection, so um, safe travels, thanks for the footage, prayers of protection and then here's a coffee one which I like I, I had to smile had I known you guys were in Carson City I would have brought you some Dutch Brothers in the morning I would have been very welcome let me tell you safe trip I will say as we travel out of the Pacific Northwest the uh, coffee places get farther farther um, spread apart and almost non-existent or hard to find. This morning, I hate to say this, we had to buckle down and we're not big fans of Starbucks, but uh, that was our only only choice. Here's another one. 
Love watching the vlog style videos. You are almost there. I think we're starting to see the light at the end of the tunnel here. Safe travels, Doc. See you guys in the future for Overland Expo West next year, unless you come back to Ohio before then. LOL. You never know. Uh, Beth and I are looking for places to travel to and events that we can take AMP3, so Ohio is certainly in the uh, list. And we will be at Overland Expo West. That'll be in uh, Flagstaff, Arizona, and we're going to be taking our camp of course, it'll be a time to visit our daughter, Kelsey. So, Anyway, um, I just want to say thank you so much. And Beth says thank you as well for everybody that's been following along and sending us um, good messages and safe travels. So thanks very much. Well, for those of you guys that are into uh, communications, as you know, I'm a ham radio operator. And I also recent, just got recent. my GMRS license and uh, we'll talk more about that in the in the future but one thing I do on all of these trips whenever we get to an area I will get on my phone or the computer and write down all of the local ham radio repeaters and program those into my radio um, just in case I need them and certainly with the weather event coming up in Asheville or potential weather event I'd like to be able to have those communication lines already set up uh, just in case Beth and I need them. And I also mentioned, I think, maybe two videos ago that I was getting some text messages and emails from the great guys at the Survival Summit. They were in the final stages of completing a DVD that we did with them on preparedness communications. But we really aimed it towards uh, people that are interested in preparedness communications but didn't know where to start. And so we kind of laid out all the different options and how to best approach those options. But they sent me a couple of screenshots and I meant to put those screenshots in, a, I think, a video or two ago. So I'll roll those in now. I have to say I've been processing these videos late at night and I'm usually pretty tired when I hit upload. And I found a um, echo link repeater, so I'll test that and um, I'll certainly monitor um, echo link and if I get a chance it would be fun to make some QSOs with any of you guys that uh, want to do echo link. So. Well, I wish Matt was with me. Before we leave Arkansas, I wanted to log a geocache when you log a cache for the first time, you'll get a state badge on your page. I'll try and make a little photo of that. Well, I definitely needed to get out and stretch my legs. That was three days of sitting and driving. Beth is making a few phone calls and catching up with one of her girlfriends who might be coming to town to visit so this is perfect for me to jump out of the truck and look for a geocache. I use the uh, geocaching app on my iPhone kind of gets you in the area and then you start thinking if I was a geocacher where where would I hide the cache? All right we're in the general area well I don't even need Matt for this one um, the description is a uh, 16 millimeter uh, test tube and I think I've got really good satellite connection here. I basically walked right up to it and I looked down at my feet and uh, right at my feet looked like a little, um, almost looked like a little sprinkler head and then I'm kind of looking around this area. There really isn't any need for any sprinklers. And then I realized that's the cache. So there he is right there. Well, I went uh, running out of the truck so quick, I forgot to grab a pen. I'm going to have Beth come pick me up, and then I'll grab a pen out of the truck and log this cache. Then we're going to get back on the road. We need to get some fuel. We need to eat. And uh, I think both of us want to run uh, Big Red through a car wash. And then we are heading into Tennessee. 
Well, Beth and I try to patronize Pilot because we actually get um, points every time we fuel Big Red up. It's huge. Well, we each have our little things that we're looking for. I know Beth is always looking for Texas ware for the camp. I'm always looking for old woodworking tools. And then of course I'm looking for old signs. I'd love to get an old Ford sign. That'd be pretty cool. Well, we are apparently also looking for bark cloth. This stuff is rare, but wrong color, pink. Apparently if it was beige, we'd be snapping it up right now. Okay, now this is a real problem. Well, I could do without the music. Bad news is, <coughs> everything, well, good news for now, bad news for later. Everything Beth sees right now is too big and Big Red is stuffed to the gills with Amp 3. So I joked with her and said, sounds like we need to get a trailer. And she said, I was thinking the same thing. That means we have to tow a trailer around just for antiques. Okay, we just figured it out. We're a little bit tired and rummy. <laughs> We're in Arkansas. We're thinking about it. This place is so big, will you remember to come back? <laughs> yeah. We could never have enough gas cans, let me tell you. If it's $24 and you only have cash, you say, I only have a 20, will you take it? And if they say no, then you say, okay, sorry, can't get it. And then you won't get it. And then I won't buy it. Oh, I think we need a better first aid kit. I think it's time to restock. Right on time. I want to stay in the hotel because those are all the hotel rooms. Up there. Up there. Here's the brochure. So next time we're here. Yep. We'll stay here.